White flag will be in the air. One more time around Daytona. Elliott Sadler, Michael Waltrip, one and two. It's going to be between those two guys. They have actually gapped uh, this, everybody else. So uh, I think it's going to be between them. And boy, Michael's getting a little aggressive now. He's starting to work that back bumper. I thought he was going to pick the rear wheels <laughs> off the ground. Yeah, he's not going to give it to him. He said, you're going to have to earn it, dude. They pull away from the pack. Down the back stretch they go. Can the pack catch them by the time they get out of turn four? Remember, the next flag will end this race. Look at look at how Michael's got the whole back end of the two trucks of Sadler off the ground. Into three and four. Elliott Sadler looking for his second win in the Camping World Trucks. Michael Waltrip has never won in a truck, but he's won here twice. Here he Coming comes. Coming to the finish line. He's got him. Mikey, you got oh, him. Got it. All right. Oh, yeah. Working his way through three and four as he exits turn number four. The white flag will go in the air for Kyle Busch. White flag here, white flag. That's the red 50. One more time around for Kyle Busch. Pretty good separation till this battle back here for the seventh spot with Crafton and Johnson. Bush, Boyer, Hornaday, Sauter, and Dillon, your top five. It has been a two truck race tonight. The 18 of Kyle Busch and the two of Clint Boyer coming out of turn right. number four. All right, we did it, boys. Good job. Woo. They definitely did it, dominating at Phoenix International Raceway. One more time around Darlington Raceway. It was tied against the outside he wall. He is trying there. everything he can to get by Hornaday in that 33 truck. Remember, he told us the most important thing is to get to the finish here. The battle for second continues. Kane now with a huge lead. Going down the back stretch. Hornaday stretching his lead over Bodine. Watch Crafton in this 88 truck though through three and four. Now hard charging is Todd Bodine coming out of turn number four. In four starts, this will be his third win in the Camping World Truck Series. Side by side down the back stretch. Here comes Sauter. He's got the preferred line as they go to three. Outside, outside, still up there, outside, still there, still there. Door to door as they come out of turn number four. White flag in the air. One to go from Martinsville. Johnny Sauter has the lead. Kyle Bush running second. Hornaday is third. Harvick is fourth. Down the back stretch. The final two turns into three. Will Kyle Busch pay him back? No. How about Hornaday? Coming out of four. Johnny Sauter wins at Martinsville. This time, coming out of turn number four and into the trial. Well, Kyle Busch will see the white flag go in the air right one here. more time around. You think Kyle Busch was on a mission after he lost that lead to Ron Hornaday? Oh, yes. <laughs> no question about it. Now Hornaday trying to hold off the eight of Nelson P.K. Jr. A great oh, run. Hornaday a bobble, goes. A bobble by the 33. Down to the inside goes the eight of Nelson P.K. Jr. They race down the back stretch for second. Here comes the 17. He's taking a look underneath the run, Hornaday. Nelson P.K. Jr. trying to hold it on the bottom of the racetrack. Way up the track goes Hornaday. Timothy Peters is going to take third away. Coming through the trial. Oh, it's Kyle Busch winning, winning at Nashville. Winning. White flag goes in the air. One more mile here at Dover. Looking for the weekend sweep as well. He's got to start it off right here in the truck series. And big crash. Nelson P.K. Jr. and Timothy Peters. That will bring out. Well, right now, we haven't seen the caution, but it, it, it is out. So that makes it official. Kyle Busch will win at Dover. The first repeat winner in 12 years. What an amazing drive by Cole Witt, though, to end up with a runner-up finish. Led this race, showed how strong he was. Ends up with his career best finish of second. Next time by, they'll receive the white flag. That, that lap truck there took Boyer's line away. He was making great time down on the bottom of the racetrack. Couldn't get there because of the... The slower truck that he had to go around and look at the ground, he lost to Kyle Busch. And the battle continues. The 33 losing spots. Nelson PK Jr. gets turned around. No caution. We're still green. We stay green. White flag is out. More today up the racetrack. James Busher got in front of him. Kyle Busch has three truck links. Now four on Clint Boyers. They work through three and four. Kyle Busch comes out of turn number four. 
into the quad double. He'll win his 28th Camping World Truck Series race. Clint Boyer crosses the stripe. White flag goes in the air one more time around Kansas Speedway looking for his first win at this racetrack. Todd's moving in on Johnny Sauter in that battle for second. You saw earlier they didn't exactly agree about how one passed the other, so these two could get a get Todd could get up beside him. Be interesting to see what Johnny does. And he's gonna get there, Phil. He's there, and now he's gonna switch to the bottom. Bodine to the bottom of the racetrack, trying to take second away from Johnny Sauter. Sauter comes down the racetrack, holds the advantage in front of Todd Bodine, and the win will go to Clint Boyer. Wins at Kansas in his home state. This is the restart. This is where it could be won or lost right here. Coming to the green flag, Johnny Sauter moves down the racetrack before he gets to the start finish line. We've seen this before. They could black flag Johnny Sauter for that move. We saw David Reagan get penalized in the Daytona 500 for doing that exact same thing. He cannot move out of his line until he gets to the start finish line. Johnny Sauter dropped down in front oh, of the 33. The field fanning out behind him. I thought David Mayhew was going to spin out. He was on the inside of Parker Kligerman, completely sideways. There's contact. P.K. Jr.'s in the outside wall. He saves it. A little bit of contact saves it across the stripe. White flag in the air. Johnny Sauter is leading, but will he be able to hold on to that spot? Where they posted the 13, they black flagged him. They're going to take this win away from Johnny Sauter. We saw it. It was obvious. He was winning the inside before they got to the start finish line. David Mayhew had his hands full with that two behind the 29 of Parker Kligerman. Through turns three and four for the final time. Coming out of turn number four, Johnny Sauter's in front. He's been black flagged. It will be the win for Ron Hornaday. Win flag number flag three in it. Texas. Travis Quapple, hard into Johanna Long. One lap of racing to go when they get to the stripe. White flag in the air. Todd Bodine, we haven't hardly talked about the entire race. He's running fourth right now, trying to get third away from his teammate. Parker Kligerman trying to find a way around the 18 of Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch trying to hang on with a truck he didn't think could win tonight. He's got to make two more turns, and it's going to go straight to victory lane, Rick. Kyle Busch in the Dollar General number 18 didn't practice earlier this morning in the truck, but he didn't need it. Victory Lane is the next stop for the 18 of Kyle Busch. Crafton will see the white flag one more time around to get his second career win in the Camping World Truck Series. They've got the 33 lap truck of Ron Hornaday. Are they going to get to him? Down the back stretch they go. Crafton with a two truck link lead over Austin Dillon. What an amazing job Matt Crafton did holding off that surge of Austin Dillon. Coming through three and four. Coming up on slow lap traffic. Matt Crafton's going to see the checkered flag. Crafton will win in Iowa. Getting ready to see the white flag. White flag in the air for Austin Dillon. White one flag. more time around. He knows right now that the next flag will end this race once they took the white. Even the caution flag were to come out right now, it would be an official race. I think these fans love seeing that black number three truck drive into a victory here in Nashville. They're on their feet cheering for Austin Dillon. Good battle for the 10th spot right there. Top 10, Joey Coulter trying to get that 10th spot away from Matt Crafton. Coulter with a good run on the bottom of the racetrack. He will take it away from Crafton. Austin Dillon wins in Nashville. Austin Dillon into the wall. Coming out of turn four, your race leader sees the white flag. One more lap to go. Dillon's in the wall in turn one and two. There goes your race leader, Timothy Peters. It's the final lap. Even if the caution comes out, Timothy Peters will win this race. He's got to be able to hold off James Busher, who's about two seconds behind him. I think uh, Austin Dillon may have run out of fuel. I think he just got run in the wall, Phil. He's under power. That thing just wrecked coming down the front straightaway. Right Win here. number three That's goes to Timothy drag. Peters. Yes, baby. yes, baby. Good job, boys. Woo! If he gets to the white flag, the next one he'll see will be the checker. White flag here, white flag. Crosses the stripe, one to go here at Pocono. The next flag ends this race, whether it's the checker or the caution. Kevin Harvick, after putting a dominant performance together during practice and qualifying, setting a new track record, has been able to work his way up to the front using strategy, staying up front.
Does he have enough fuel to finish this one out? It's still a long ways around this track. There's your championship battle, too. Austin Dillon has fought his way to the back bumper of Johnny Sauter. He's had a terrible day today running in the back, but what a rally at the end. He's going for that position over Sauter. Through turn number two. Now, the final turn, turn three. It's still a long ways to the start-finish line. Does Harvey have enough fuel? A big lead coming out of turn number three. Can he make it to the start-finish line? Does he have enough fuel? Yes, Kevin Harvick will win at Pocono. Good job, boys. That's Vance whipping right there. A great weekend, Harvick. Good job. Good job, boys. Awesome. White flag in the air. One to go for Kevin Harvick. Can Peters get a run on him? Looks like he's got a run, Phil. Sure does. Kevin Harvick is using that mirror. Timothy Peters looking to the outside. Kevin Harvick ducks down high, low. He's up there. Clear high. Clear high. Clear by the PK got clear a little bit loose underneath Paluto. He held on to it. And Perfect. sideways goes Miguel Paluto. And now Nelson PK. He's going to hit the wall on the inside. Hard into the inside wall on this final lap. They continue to race. Green flag still out as Nelson PK Jr.'s hit the inside wall. Kevin Harvick in front of Timothy Peters coming out of turn number four. Does Peters have a big enough run to get him? The caution and the checkered flag will fly. Checkered flag. Kevin Harvick will win again in the Camping World Truck Series. White flag goes in the air. One to go for Kevin Harvick. Johnny Sauter can taste it, but he just can't get there. Kevin Harvick coming into this race, had the momentum. He's won the two previous races in the Camping World Truck Series, and he's going to go to victory lane in the Truck Series for Bristol. 4.9 seconds separate. Hornaday, who just takes the white flag, and his closest pursuer, Clint Boyer, 3.6 seconds back. Hornaday digging with everything he's got. Hey, let's give a little call here to Jeff Hensley if Ron Hornady pulls this thing off like it looks like he's going to. And a call to KHI. They had a fast truck and a slow one. They're going to run one-two with them. <laughs> Hornaday out in front, going through three and four. He's going to make it. to add to his record-setting Camping World Truck Hornaday Series career. Go Hornaday down. goes Good to job. victory lane again. Crossing the stripe. One lap to go for Dillon. That means the next flag displayed will end the race, whether it's the checker or caution. He got to that white flag. That means this race will not have a green-white checker. Austin Dillon, after starting in the fifth position, plenty winning that spot plenty of room. in qualifying earlier today, we just heard Andy Houston say, plenty of room. That's his spotter. That's what you want to hear on the last lap if you're leading the race, right, Phil? Absolutely. He's going to take his time. He's going to move to the inside of Timothy Peters, going to give him plenty of room. And as he comes yeah! into the quad oval, yeah, yeah. Woo! Austin yeah, Dillon <laughs> grabs his fourth career win in the Camping World Truck Series. White flag flies for Kyle Busch. He knows right now that the, there will not be a green-white checker. All he has to do is get that thing back around here another three-quarters of a lap. Kyle Busch, when running in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, has always been a favorite whenever entered. This time may be the most dominant performance we've ever seen by Kyle Busch behind the wheel of that Toyota Tundra. Coming out of turn number four, Kyle Busch wins his 30th Truck Series race. Hell yeah, brother. Good night nice job this weekend, guys. Yeah, I think that might be an understatement, yeah. White flag goes in the air. One lap remaining in Kentucky. Been a lot of different drivers winning that two truck this year. Will Ron Hornaday's name be added to that list? What about Ron stepping up and saying, I can drive this two truck to victory lane as well? He's got about 10 truck links on Austin Dillon as they head into three. Hornaday, two wins already this season. Texas and Atlanta, both mile and a half tracks. Will he add Kentucky to it? This will be his third win in Kentucky if he holds on. Coming out of four. Ron Hornaday wins career race number 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God darn, guys. You guys are awesome. Good pit call. Ron Hornaday continuing with the momentum that he had in Kentucky, grabbing his 50th career win. Got a slow Put truck down on the inside of the back, Phil. Yeah. I don't know. Clean racetrack, though, if that truck stays down on the bottom. Hornaday and Crafton, one and two, separated by a half a second. 
Hornaday is going to see the white flag. One more time around for win white number flag, 51. White flag right here. And will he go two for two in this two truck? It will be a huge day for Ron Hornaday if he's able to stay out front. He'll be able to notch another racetrack. As far as getting a win at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a place he has never gone to victory lane. The final two turns coming out of turn number four. Ron Hornaday is on a roll. Right, so win awesome. number 51. Thank you so much. Let me drive this thing. This is cool. <laughs> that's heartfelt right there too, <laughs> Phil, isn't it? He said, this is cool. You know what that's like to get in something that goes like that. Awesome. We hope we don't see another caution across the stripe. One lap to go. Mike Wallace just in front of Ron Hornaday. Now the big question, will there be KHI orders for Hornaday to win this race? That can't happen, Phil, because here comes Busher and Carmichael. They do anything other than what they're doing. They're going to lose that first and second spot. they got to hang right like that until the very last second. There's a chance at the start-finish line. Maybe Hornaday pulls out, but here comes Busher. Here comes the run by Busher and Ricky Carmichael. Going into turn number three, Wallace and Hornaday, one and two. How about Jason White, top of nine, top of the racetrack, hooked up. Coming out of turn number four, this is where all the action will take place. Here comes the run. James Busher trying to go to the outside. Mike Wallace being pushed by Ron Hornaday through the tri -oval. 400 yards to go. It's going to be Mike Wallace is going to win this one at Talladega. And that is a Kevin Harvick Incorporated win right there. Joey Coulter all over the back bumper of the 13 of Johnny Sauter. One lap of racing to go. Less than a half a mile. Denny Hamlin's previous best in the Camping World Truck Series was third at Atlanta back in 2008. He wants to join the fraternity of drivers that have won in all three series. He will win in Martinsville. Checker, checker flag. Great job, Denny. Awesome truck, guys. Ty Dillon runs into the top three now as he makes the move, and he's right behind his brother. Look at Matt Crafton. First time he's been in the top five this race. One lap to go. The white flag came out. Out in front, Kevin Harvick, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, Matt Crafton, and Johnny Sauter, your top five. Johnny Sauter needs that point that Matt Crafton has over him. If he could get around Crafton, that would help his championship chances. But here comes Nelson P.K. Jr. to the bottom. Nelson P.K. Jr. is going to take a couple spots away from Johnny Sauter as he continues to drop back. Matt Crafton needs to back off right now, but here comes Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick. Great. He's going to win his 13th right right Camping job. World Truck Series race. Oh, good job, boys. So, hey, hey, hold on. We just got the official word. This race is over. You got two wins in 2011. Thank you very much. Just, uh... Awesome. Just want to thank Chevrolet, Goodyear Tires, uh, Duke and Ron Thorson, uh, everybody. This is uh, this is big. Two wins in a season. I've been trying for years in my NASCAR career to get two wins in a season, and oh, this is unbelievable. Okay, a win down here. Let's go to the other end, Pit Road, and Hermie Sadler. Well, he just got the word that he is the 2011 NASCAR Camping World Series champion. Champion. How does that sound, Austin Dillon? It's unbelievable, man. Uh, I guess I had to scare everybody on that last restart. My guys, Bill. <laughs> Thanks, Horn. You know, <laughs> these guys are awesome. I got a lot of people to thank for getting me here. <laughs> His brother, Ty Dillon, coming in for congratulations. Two champions right here. Thank you. Okay, so, yeah, that last restart, I don't know what happened. I got three wides, so I just let everybody go, get back in line, and start picking them back off. And Wow, what a day. This is awesome. This is the best day of my life. I can't say enough about all these guys. Bass Pro Shops, Johnny Morris, champion, man. This is awesome. And you guys tried to make this interesting. It was a, was your tire rubbing? Did you have a vibration? You had a lot of stuff going on, but your spotter did a good job of calming you back down. You passed trucks, and you were the fastest truck on the track when it counted at the end. Yes, sir. And uh, the biggest thing is we were coming down pit road, and Joey said we had a rub or something right before the green, and stopped and said it's fine, it's fine. Just, just go out there, you'll be all right. So we took off and didn't have a good start. Got three wide. Denny put me three wide there. And, it's just racing, and uh, Johnny did a great job. He did everything he could do. He led all laps. We were running him down there on that long green flag. If it would have went green, I think we had something for him. Just uh, what a day, man. This is awesome. And last thing, you've been around racing your whole life. How long have you thought about the possibility of one day being a champion in NASCAR? Man, uh, this is just a dream come true. You can't ask for anything else than this. This is just amazing. I want to thank Dixie Stampede, Bass Pro Shop, Chevrolet, 
everybody on our race car that's helped us through through everything. Uh, RCR, all the guys back at the shop, the engine shop, ECR engines, you guys got it, boys. That's awesome. That's Austin Dillon. He's your 2011 champion.